in the unlikely event of an emergency or life-threatening situation, we would like you to know how to exit the building quickly and safely. Please pay close attention to the film that follows, which will help you to understand our emergency evacuation procedure. Hey, what's that? Oh, it's the emergency alarm! Okay, everybody, I think we should leave the building. Selamat pagi, ini bomba dan penyelamat. Selamat pagi, Encik. Uh, saya call dari bangunan Campsign Consultant. Terdapat berlaku kebakaran di belakang bangunan Kopa Kasa. Upon hearing the emergency alarm, all staff and visitors should proceed in an orderly manner to the nearest emergency exit, which is marked by a green running man sign. If at any time you find smoke blocking your way, you should look for an alternative emergency exit route, continuing to follow the green arrows to make your way safely out of the building. If time and safety allows, all accessible windows and doors should be closed behind you. All personal belongings should be left behind. Staff should observe procedures and instructions with regards to isolating or shutting down equipment or services that are currently running as long as it is safe to do so. People with mobility difficulties should be given priority assistance wherever possible and all visitors in the building should be escorted as they may not be too familiar with emergency escape routes. Once you are safely out of the building, proceed to the designated fire assembly point and listen carefully to the instructions given by the fire marshal. The fire marshal will liaise directly with the fire brigade. Fire wardens wearing high visibility vests or armbands are there to ensure the building is evacuated and you must carry out any directions given by them. If you are aware of any disabled or injured people that can't leave the building, you must tell the fire marshal or a fire warden exactly where they are as quickly as possible. Do not make any attempt to go back into the building until you are specifically told to do so by the fire marshal or the attending fire brigade officer in charge. You should now have a clearer understanding of what to do should an emergency situation arise. A member of our team will be happy to assist you by answering any questions or queries that you may have regarding our emergency evacuation procedure.